Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Soul Sacrifice Delta. And on this episode, we're moving on to the fourth and final chapter of a story within the Avalon faction, The Reaper's Gloom. So let's get going. How devastated would Sponsara be if she ever knew the truth? The notorious Reaper was torn. With her fiancé murdered, Skeletum had become her emotional rock. Whatever affection she showed towards Skeletum caused him guilt, the guilt was weighing on him. If he, the Reaper, were to die, then Sponsara's wish for revenge would be fulfilled. But at the same time, she would lose someone dear. Well, it's not only that, but the love of her ex-boyfriend lives on within this guy. So it'd be like double death, wouldn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to choose to sacrifice or to save. I'm really tempted to save because she will just be on her own then. She'll have lost two people she cares about. And although what he's done is really bad and deceitful, she's grown to love him. And if you love someone, you can forgive someone. They call me the Reaper. And although it may be short-lived, I have accepted you as a friend. Did you ever wonder why? Should I live, or should I die? I need somebody to decide for me. The Reaper raised his accursed arm and descended upon me. We're gonna have to fight him, guys. Skeletum. So, I'm using the same offerings I used on the last video. Yeah, I had to think then. Was it two videos or one video? It was one video. Same offerings I used on the last video. And also, um, I'm using the same sigils as well. So let's go, Skeletum. He wants to die, but I think he's been selfish all along. He's done everything he wants to do. He killed the other guy. He then tricked Sponsara, or whatever her name is, and she fell in love with him, and now he's demanding death. You don't get to walk away from your punishment or your guilt. I'm going to save him. You need to own up, Sunshine, to what you've done. You shall decide my fate. I have deceived Sponsara for so very long. Oh, you bugger. I'd fallen in love with Sponsara. Culprit was far closer at hand. I could never summon the nerve to confess. There we go. This is going to be a very short episode, guys. I didn't realise it would be a this sorcerer episode, so I apologise.
Sweet. Kill me. That was what he really wanted. He wanted an easy way out. Yeah, which she's not getting. Liberation from guilt. I told him how I felt. He'd chosen to live as the Reaper. Now, he must reap what he had sown. Skeleton settled onto the ground, moaning with woe. I have not seen the Reaper since. But after some time, I received a letter from Skeleton. But it was tinged with grief. The sacred chalice has the power to grant a wish. He would use it to erase Sponsara's memories of and affection for Skeleton. He's so selfish. Finally, the Reaper could die. And Sponsara would have her revenge. He just annoys me now. I don't feel sorry for him whatsoever. I just think he's a very selfish person. It was a grievous conclusion. Perhaps it was a self-inflicted punishment. The Reaper would return to battle in search of the sacred chalice. To avenge Sponsara without harming her. A final gesture to the one he loved. Yeah, just because you erase someone's memory doesn't change the fact that you've been, well, excuse my language, but bleep to them. You know, you've killed her lover, you've made her fall in love with you, then you were too cowardly to tell her the truth of what you've done, you were too cowardly to tell her you love her, then you wanted the easy way out of death so you didn't have to tell her those things, and then after I save your life, you're still moping around, and then you want to erase this poor woman's memories of everything that's happened and then you can selfishly go well selfishly go out and kill yourself in battle oh he just annoys me what do you guys think of this story leave a comment down below i'm just enraged at this skeleton guy now well looks like that's it we have done all of the stories in avalon I'm hoping there's going to be more future DLC because this particular story, The Reaper's Gloom, was additional DLC for Avalon allies. So I'm hoping we get more in Sanctuarium and also in Grim because there isn't that many in Sanctuarium when you look at this because these are just pure story. There's no battles and obviously we've got a couple here which are story. And then in Grimm, we've actually got a fair few stories as well. Well, actually, not that many, but they were they felt quite long to me and quite in-depth. So I'm hoping there's going to be more DLC with uh, fellow, sto uh, fellow sorcerers' stories, because they're really interesting and I love the stories on Soul Sacrifice Delta. I know this is going to be a very short episode, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you my future plans um, of gameplay and talk about what I'm going to do on this Let's Play. Of course, I'm going to do more online multiplayer episodes. Um, probably the next few episodes will be online multiplayer ones, actually. Um, I still need to do the Rite of Transmutation. 
Um, I want to do a separate video for that though. It's not going to be a Let's Play walkthrough episode. It's just going to be Soul Sacrifice Delta Rite of Transmutation demonstration video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it for each faction because you get a different um, heart sigil when you do this depending on what faction, faction you're aligned with. Also, I've been told I haven't done it myself yet. So I want to film it um, and then not save it, then restart, then film a different faction, blah, 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 and do that and show you guys um, what you get to do from the right of transmutation. Obviously, most of you have probably already done it by now. I'm quite behind. The reason I didn't want to do right of transmutation straight away is because I'm at level 100. There's still a fair bit I want to do, like online missions and things and obviously with running a YouTube channel I don't have time to like level up my character and farm although a helpful subscriber has told me a quick way of uh, leveling up and farming on a particular pack very similar to Soul Sacrifice only it's a different arch fiend so I'll have to look through and try and find that somewhere please remind me of that in the video comments if you're watching this because I might have lost that I was supposed to make a note of it but for some reason it didn't save on my computer. As you can see I've got a couple of black offerings now although I don't actually have that many so I still need to work on those. I also need to work on getting some better sigils and to be honest I've mentioned this on a previous episode but I am thinking of when I actually do my proper rite of transmutation sacrificing my heart I'm gonna align with Sanctuarium and I'm thinking of switching to a Sanctuarium build now, I know a lot of you will be thinking, oh no, not a love another Sanctuarian player, there's too many of them, blah blah blah. But to be honest, it's going to be a new experience for me because I played 50-50 on Soul Sacrifice and I've played 50-50 on SS Delta for the majority of this Let's Play walkthrough. So I just feel like something refreshing is in order and I need to change my build. Um, I would like to have a lot of defence, which is why I'm leaning more towards going Sanctuarium rather than Avalon. So yeah, it's probably going to be that. Plus I want to start using the Spears more because I know when I played the Japanese demo of this game I was like, yeah, I'm going to use the Spears a lot. They're awesome, blah blah blah. And I haven't actually used them that much in this Let's Play walkthrough. So that's another reason why I want to go with Sanctuarium um, when I do my Rite of Transmutation officially and save my game. So you can see here, as I said, not many black offerings. So I need to work on that. I have been merging spells together to get black offerings though. But I just don't have that many. I do need to do a bit of farming. I need to get the, I, is it the Iron Maiden armor or the Dullahan ar ar armor? Um, I still need to get that. I haven't bothered getting that yet. I love this summon, which is what I've been using in these latest videos it's totally awesome it's just a fast one to throw down fast swipes and it's just epic love it i also love this as well frog prince tongue summon but it's not that strong i need to get stronger ones but what's great about this one is again it's a fast one to throw down and it attacks really really quickly rather than the other summons the big um, golem summons that take a while to come out of the ground and are quite slow attacking so yeah, oh, and I also got this offering as well, which is another mine offering, Ballroom Slipper. It's pretty interesting. It's kind of slams down from the sky, like a stomp of a foot, which is pretty cool. Don't worry, I'll be demonstrating some of these new spells in future videos, so you're not gonna miss out. So that's it uh, from me. I am going to stop this episode here, guys. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and feel free to comment. I always get back to people as soon as I can. If you want to help me out as a YouTuber, then you can favorite and share this video. It really does help me out and gets me exposed on YouTube and stuff like that. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy, guys.